YouTube channel. I am totally recovered from my tonsillectomy. I don't even know what's going on back in my throat right now, but I feel so good. I didn't even care. 2017. Absolutely wild. So guys, congratulations. You made it past 2017. It has been a crazy 2017. It is now 2018. Welcome to my channel in 2018. I'm hoping this is the year everything happens. I have a good feeling. I'm going to work my ass off. We're going to get shit done. We're going to have a good time on this channel. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know how it is. Don't forget to join this beauty fam. I love every single one of you and we are almost at a thousand subs and I cannot wait to do a giveaway. I need to get into this video because I'm rambling for a really long time. So today, it is a new year, new me. <laughs> or whatever they want to bloody call it. And it is time to do a full face of first impressions. This is the first full face of first impressions on my channel. The first of many things to come this year. And yeah, if you guys want to see how I got the look on the front cover of this page and you know how it is, then just keep on watching. So, oh my god, guys. I'm tanned. It's actually a miracle. I never tan. I'm a pasty girl. I'm sort of a bit reluctant to even touch any of this stuff because it's so expensive, so new. I'm going in with my MAC Prep and Prime. I have never used this before. Oh my god. It feels like I'm in like a salon of makeup. I like it. This will go in one day. Next up, I'm going in with the Maybelline Strobe Cream and rubbing that all over my face because dang, this is gonna be a glowy look. <gasps> what in the name? I look like a roast chicken. I'm going to be going in with my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and my new Real Technique sponge. I haven't used this sponge or foundation and I'm going to dot that all over my face and tell you my thoughts. This stuff is so expensive. I'm just really scared to even put it on my face. That is some full coverage. Let me zoom on up. Look at that. I think I used too much. Holy hell. Look at the difference. I mean, it appears that my sponge is soaking up a lot of product, which is all right, usually what I like, but damn. So looking at this close up, I can see a lot of texture on my skin. Um, it has filled in a lot of pores, but any like lumps or crevices or things, it has brought up, which is very confusing. But damn, the coverage, the pigment has literally covered everything. Right, so the next thing we're going to be trying is concealer. This is a concealer from Morphe in the shade Sand. This is a concealer from Morphe in the shade Sand. Oh. Right, so first impressions, this is really thick. Oh, I don't know about this. It looks like it'll be good coverage, but... I'm really not a thick concealer kind of girl. I feel like anything thick under my eyes is not okay. Right, so now I'm just going to go back in with the pointy end of my Real Technique sponge and blend it out. You know what? After I blend it out, I feel like the sponge is soaking up a lot of the thickness of that product and it doesn't exactly feel thick anymore. And it blends gorgeous. That looks flawless. This is the best sponge I've ever used. I've never tried a beauty blender before. I'm caked. Right, so this concealer is very dewy. If you like a more drying concealer, this is definitely not for you. But let's be real, who likes drying concealers under their eyes? So I'm just going to go ahead and set that with just some RCMA translucent powder. I don't have any new powder today. That feels really thick. I'm trying to bake under the eye with that concealer. I've never felt this kind of thickness before. Now I'm going in with some NYX High Definition Foundation Powder and I'm going to set the rest of my face with that. And I also have these brand new brushes from Morphe, which I'm trying out. I have the Jaclyn Hill Favourite Set and the Golden Gilded Set, I'm pretty sure it's called. And every single one of those brushes is amazing. I will never diss one of those brushes. Yeah, this powder is flawless. Definitely adds a little bit more coverage where you need it. It doesn't like make it too cakey and I love using the flat top brushes to really push in the powder. Right, so under my eyes look really flawless and flat and so does the rest of my face. I'm really impressed by these products so far. I'm looking a little bit pastier though. Maybe this powder is a bit too light for me. There is a bit of situation on my nose right now. I don't know if you can see but really close up there's like a bit of a patch on my nose. So now I'm going to go in and do my brows. I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Lacura, and I'm going to be going in with the darkest brown shade and filling in my eyes. They did come with these stencils but no. This powder is a bit warm. I'm more of like a cool tone powder kind of gal. This one seems to be bringing out a couple oranges and pinks. It doesn't really match the roots of my hair. 
it'll do all right so they're the brows they're a bit like red I don't know if you can see it on camera so I'm gonna be testing out two different eyeshadow palettes today on the eyes I'm gonna be testing this Huda Beauty palette it is so beautiful I'm also going to be testing out this Morphe palette. It's the 3502. Oh my god, just 350 all over again, but even better. So, first things first, I'm going to be going in with Amber from the Desert Dusk palette and running that through my crease, really blowing out that color. Well, I can say that that color blended out gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm now going to be going on with Saffron from the Desert Dusk palette and putting that in my outer corner and a tiny bit through my crease. I, those two just blended together beautifully. I'm now going in with the shade Oud or Oud or Odd or whatever you want to call it and putting that on the uttermost corner of my eye and blending it just on that outer corner, keeping it out there don't bring it through the crease so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Cosmo and I just want to point this out there that this is very much a pressed glitter and so this shade is gonna need a base so I'm gonna go straight in with Oud or Oud or bloody I don't know and just do a thin layer of that over the lid not too much because you don't want to ruin all that crease work you've just done then I'm just going in with a tiny bit of eyelash glue this one is from duo and dotting that all over my lid. Then I'm going in with my finger and the shade Cosmo as I just said and pressing that onto my lid. Oh that is so pretty. You can really see it now, it's coming up. Right there on my nose is a patch and it's starting to patch up under my eyes. I'm gonna just go in with a little bit more of that NYX powder and try and fix it. I'm going in with the Morphe E36. It is this really, really tiny smudger brush and taking the most vibrant red shade in that Morphe palette and starting to smoke that out on my lower lash line. I'm really excited for this part. Yes! Look at that pigment. Are you serious? I'm then going to blend that shade out with that fluffy brush from earlier on. After that is blended out, I'm going in with a super duper tiny brush. I'm going to go straight in with this dark brown shade and put that right along the lash line. I cannot get over that. I don't think this look needs any kind of eyeliner or anything because it's so dramatic already. I am going to go ahead and coat my eyes with the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. I just got this as well and it is pretty good at keeping them lashes black. So this is making my eyelashes really black but it doesn't seem to be curling them which is what I need because I don't have really long lashes. Going in with these Huda Beauty Blush... I'm going in with these Huda Beauty lashes in the style Jade 13. Um, I'm not going to put them on straight away. I'm going to let the glue settle on it a bit. This didn't come with any lash glue, which is really annoying because I'm a sucker for lash glue and they're really expensive. I also don't have a new bronzer, so I'm going to be going in with the Chocolate Soleil shade from the Nikki Tutorials palette and contouring and bronzing my face. My face is still looking so glowy with that strobe cream. It's coming through. This powder is definitely too light for my tan and I think I thought this foundation was going to suit my tan, but I don't know if it's the foundation or the powder. <laughs> Dang it. This is the Y4 from the Morphe Gilded Again collection. I'm going to be going in with this super duper shimmery shade from the Colourpop Eyes palette. I'm going to highlight my face. That is gorgeous. Oh, I'm a bit, oh, I'm going to be ham now. I am shining like a diamond. Oh my god. I'm actually going to go in with a bit of blush. I'm taking the Morphe M530 and going in with I Will Always Love You from the Nikki Tutorials palette. And it's sort of going to tone down my highlighter a little bit because it's been intense. So now I'm going to apply these eyelashes quickly. They are gorgeous. Oh my. I'm now going in with a liquid lipstick. I don't know what one though. Oh, that dark one is calling me. And we're going for the dark one. So I'm going to line my lips with this new Morphe lip liner in Hoover. I'm not like dissing Morphe or anything, but it, they sort of feel like an eyeliner. They're not super creamy and mm, it literally just broke and fell on the floor. So I'm now going in with this ColourPop lipstick from the I Love Sari collection. And this is in the shade Mama Cha. Mama. Sit, mama Sita. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the finished look, eh? 
right? My face is so white. Okay guys, so this is the finishing first impressions. I cannot say that I hate any of this stuff here. Like, I feel like in some places the Morphe concealer is really moving and stuff, but I can't say that I hate it. Like, I'm still going to use it. The Marc Jacobs foundation is creasing a little bit in my smile lines, but I didn't bake there today. So again, I can't say I don't hate it. I'm obsessed with all of the eyeshadow palettes I used today. All of them. The eyelashes are the best I've ever worn. Anyway guys, if you liked this full face of first impressions, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love all of my subscribers out there. We're an amazing beauty fam. And yeah, I'll always stick up for you guys because you guys always stick up for me. And yeah, thanks guys for watching to the end. I love you all so freaking much. So much. And I will see you in my next video. Happy 2018. Bye, guys.